first time getting pregnant was not easy, but also not difficult. Um, it took us about a year. Um, we had miscarriages, but ultimately we got pregnant uh, on our own. So I assume the second time, like everybody tells you, it's going to be really easy because you got pregnant the first time, and they tell you it's like riding a bike or some other really unhelpful analogy. But it was very difficult, and we not only couldn't get pregnant, I just never began ovulation. So that began the road um, of discovering that we had many, many different problems. They ran more tests, and they discovered that I had a heart-shaped uterus, um, which was not the reason why I wasn't ovulating, but did make it very hard to get pregnant and very shocking that I ever managed to carry a baby to full term. So I had surgery on my uterus, and after that started down the road of various different treatments. Um, you do Clomid to start ovulation. I, of course, didn't respond to that. Uh, we did injectables. That didn't work, and ultimately um, we ended up at IVF. And from there, at sort of every stage, I think, of infertility and treatment, especially uh, when you're young and they don't know why you're experiencing um, infertility and you already had a baby, at every stage they tell you, this will work, don't worry, you're definitely going to get pregnant. So every stage becomes a little bit harder as you find out that it's not working. And three rounds of IVF resulted in an ectopic pregnancy that resulted in me having a fallopian tube removed. So at the end of this whole road, I was left not ovulating, only one fallopian tube, and still unable to get pregnant. I started taking the medication, and I felt pregnant. And I had already been pregnant you know, a couple times with miscarriages and with my son. And I went in, and I was like, look, I think I'm pregnant. Can you do a test? And I remember them looking at me and being like, oh, poor thing. She's moved over to the crazy side. Like, she's really, this is just too much for her. She can't handle it anymore. She thinks she's pregnant. She's insane. So they humored me, they gave me a hug, they're like, it's going to be okay. And my doctor called that day and was like, I don't even know what to say, but you're pregnant. And then nine months later, we had our son. So it, you just, you don't know what's going to happen, ever. I think that as a woman, no matter what you'll say to the rest of the world, you feel like something is wrong with you if you can't get pregnant, because that is what you're supposed to do. And starting a dialogue to sort of understand there's nothing wrong with you. It just is, everybody's different. Everybody's bodies are different. Everybody has different circumstances. Sometimes there's nothing even anatomically wrong or chemically wrong. You still can't get pregnant. However you look at it, it's a miracle. And being able to talk about the fact that it's different for everybody and difficult, um, I think is really important so you don't feel alone. It's very hard to see that there could be a happy ending if you're going through infertility or whatever phase of infertility you're in. What I try and tell people when I look back at everything that's happened to me, it all, it's the only way that I can deal with it. I have to tell myself it was all worth it because it allowed me to get to this point with these two children that I have. And if I hadn't gone through all of that, these would not be my children. I would have different children. And these are the children I'm supposed to have. And whether you end up with your biological children or adopted children or even maybe not your children, maybe you're an aunt or an uncle, you have to believe that ultimately it's the right journey for you. And it's the only thing I can tell people to try and keep going, otherwise it's too much to handle. It's just amazing to me that in Hollywood, it's kind of okay to talk about being a drug addict or a divorce or cheating or whatever addiction you're going through, but it's not okay to talk about infertility. Now that you've heard my story, if you'd like to share your own story and join the conversation, please click on the link below. Thank you so much for sharing.